Today, we are going to build a document summarizer application using Google Gemini AI model. We will build an app in Flutter and use Firebase to store data and we'll set up the server in Python. Let's start by creating a server first. Create a new folder and add a new file app.py. To create a server in Python, first make sure you have Python installed on your system. We'll use the Flask web framework. Install the Flask web framework, requests, and Jasonify library. Also install the Google Generative AI package, which contains the Python SDK for the Gemini API. In this code, we create a Flask app and define a route slash API slash summarize that accepts post requests. This route is responsible for handling the document summarization process. We start by configuring the Google Gemini API key and set the model to Gemini Pro. Make sure to replace the API key with your API key obtained from the Google AI Studio. You should put the key in the Google API key environment variable. When a post request is received, the code expects a file named document in the request. If the file is provided, it reads the document content and sends it to the Google Gemini AI Models API. Here we need to implement the document processing logic to handle different document formats and convert them to a format that can be processed by the Google Gemini AI model. First, we'll need to install some additional Python packages, Python docx, and PDF plumber. In this code, we define a process underscore document function that takes the file bytes and file extension as input. Based on the file extension, it calls the appropriate function, process PDF, process word, or process text, to extract the text content from the document. The process PDF function uses the PDF plumber library to extract text from PDF documents. The process word function uses the Python docx library to extract text from Word documents. The process text function simply decodes the file bytes into a UTF-8 string. Now, we use this function in app.py to process the uploaded document file and extract the text content based on the file extension. We retrieve the summary length and detail level values from the client's request form data. These values are expected to be sent as part of the request payload. We then define a prompt for generating the summary, which includes instructions to keep the summary within the specified length and adjust the level of detail based on the provided detail level. The prompt also includes the document content to be summarized. Next, we use the generate content method to generate the summary based on the provided prompt. If the summary generation is successful, we return the generated summary as a JSON response. If an exception occurs during the process, we catch it and return an error response. Finally, add the code to run the Flask application as a web server. Let's start by creating a new Flutter application and add home screen. We are going to build a simple UI as our main focus is to implement the functionality. So, here we will add a button first to select a file from the device storage. To pick a file from native file explorer, we will add file picker package. Add it to the pubspec YAML file and run pubget. Now let's write the code to add the pick file functionality. We are going to support PDF, doc, and text files. On selecting a file, we will update the file variable with selected file. Once we pick a file, we need to display the selected file on the screen. So, for that let's add a text widget and set the file name as the text. Let's test if we can pick a file. On click of a button, it opens the file explorer and on selecting a file, we can see the file name here on the screen. It would be good if user can preview the file from the app only. So, let's add preview button next to the selected file name and create a preview screen. As we are going to allow PDF, doc, and text files, we would need to display file content accordingly. Here I am using a switch case to handle all file types. For PDF files, we would use the package Flutter PDF View. In case of PDF View, we will simply use the PDF View widget. To read the doc file, let's create a function first. For doc files, we would use docx to text package to get the document text. In this function, we will use doc to text method from the package to convert bytes to simple text. To read the text file, we will simply read it by using read as string function. To display doc files, we have to use a future builder as our function is async. Similarly, for the text file as well, we have to use future builder. So, our preview screen is ready. It's time to add the navigation on preview button click in home screen. Let's test the preview screen. It looks perfect. Also adding the button to cancel the selection. It will set the value of the file variable to null.
We want to let user decide the summary and detail levels. For that, we are adding sliders, which will have different ranges. We are storing the selected values in summary length and detail level variables. Finally, we will add button to call API to summarize the document. Once we receive the response from the API, we will display the summary in another screen. Now, let's implement the Firebase functionality. Set up a new Firebase project. As we are going to add Google authentication in our app, enable Google as a sign-in method. Also set up the Firestore database. I am adding some sample data to visualize how the database will look like. Now, first add all the required packages in PubSpec and run PubGet. Let's start by implementing the auth functionality. Make sure you have enabled Google as a sign-in method in the Firebase console and added Google service info plist file in your project. Add functions to initialize Firebase and sign in with Google in this file. Also add the sign out button. Now, update the home screen accordingly to listen to the auth state changes. We need to add the sign in screen. We will add just one sign-in button in the sign-in screen. On successful sign-in, we will navigate user to the home screen. It is important to initialize Firebase on App Start. Make sure to add URL schemes and URL types in case you are using iOS. As we can see, Google sign-in is working fine. Let's add logout button as well in home screen. Great, auth implementation is done. Now, let's set up the API client. For HTTP requests, we will use HTTP library. In API client, we will add the base URL variable and summarize document function. In this function, we are using multi-part post request. To send a file, use multi-part file class. Also add summary length and summary level fields. If the success response is received, then return the summary string. Now, let's implement the summary service class as well. Here we will add the functions to call the summarize document from our server and Firebase functions to store, retrieve, and delete the summary. Call summarize document API from home screen on click of a summarize button. Once we receive successful response from the server, navigate user to the summary screen to display the summary of the document. Here we are sending the file name and summary in this screen to store it in Firebase database. Just add the summary text and a button to store the summary. Call the store summary function of the summary service here. In home screen, add the navigation to the summary screen on requesting summarize document. Now, let's start the server. Select a file and set the summary length and level and click on the summarize button. Great, we successfully received a document summary. Let's save it to the Firebase database. As we are storing the summaries, we should show the history of the generated summaries to the user. To show history, we are using Stream Builder and call the fetch summaries function of the summary service to fetch summaries from the Firebase. In history, we will show the list of summary and on click of the list item, user will navigate to the summary screen. We don't need save summary button when user navigates to summary screen from the history, so we will remove it by passing the bool parameter. We are also adding the delete icon button to delete the history. Call the delete summary function of the summary service to delete the summary. Let's test it. As we can see, our delete functionality is working fine. Let's do the final testing now. I set the wrong condition here. We can see all functionalities, select all supported types and preview them summarize the document, and save and delete the summary to and from the Firebase database are working perfect. That's it. Our app is ready. Now go and create your own document summarization application with your own customizations and let me know your thoughts and creativity in comments below. Thank you for joining me on this exciting journey of AI and Flutter development. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more exciting projects and tutorials. Until next time, keep coding.